All right, so uh, of course, in the last video I made on long division, uh, I showed this really cool trick for how to use the quotative definition of division to really quickly use the chip model and quotative uh, to do long division, and it was beautiful. And of course, the only examples I showed were how to divide by a single digit. So of course, I had some good friends ask, well, what do you do if you're trying to divide by a multiple digit number? So I'm gonna show you that using some simple two digit division problems. So, all right, so let's get started. So now one of the things you'll notice so we've got uh, 2,813 being divided by 12. So what that means is we're going to be looking for, for groups of 12, and we're going to put a circle around groups of 12. All right, so as we are currently looking at it, we don't see any groups of 12. I mean, well, first off, <laughs> I suppose it would help if I actually drew the, dot, the numbers. So it's 2,000. 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, and 13. All right, so there's our 2,813. And remember, when we're dividing by that 12, what that means is we are looking for groups of 12 to circle. All right, so I'm going to get my green pen, and I'm going to say, well, do we have any groups of 12 in the thousands? Well, the answer is clearly no, so I'm gonna put a zero here. All right. Now, now I'm gonna look in the hundreds. Do I have any groups of 12 in the hundreds? No, I don't, clearly, because I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but I can cash in some of these bigs for 10 littles. Now, we're gonna take a quick uh, sidestep for a second and we're gonna think about that 12 now a nice shortcut for thinking about the number 12 is that 12 is 12 little dots all right but a nice shortcut for what 12 also looks like is a 12 also looks like one big with two littles so anytime I see a big plus two littles that is the same thing as a 12 because I could cash this guy in for 12, uh, 10 little dots over here and that's how I would get my 12 dots. So one big plus two littles equals my 12. All right, so now using that new understanding, um, do I see 12 dots here or here? No, not exactly, but I do remember that this big plus these two littles equals 12. All right, so I'm going to, oh, let's do it in red. So this big could be cashed in for 10 plus these two littles, there's a 12. All right, do I see any other instances of 12? Yes, I do. I see that this big can be cashed in for 10 plus these two littles. So this big can be cashed in for 10 plus these two littles equals 12. So do I see any other ability to make 12 in the hundreds columns? No, I don't. Because right now I have four in the hundreds column. I have nothing in the thousands column that could be cashed in. So we're we're kind of done with the hundreds column. So we have two groups of 12 in the hundreds column. Here's one group of 12, because remember that came over with the 10. And we have another group of 12, because remember, there was actually the 10 that got brought over. So we have two groups of 12 in the hundreds column, and we have four hundreds left over. So now let's look in the tens column. Do we have any groups of 12 sitting in the tens column? Nope. In fact, we only have one in the tens column. But I can cash in, and I'll do it in red, this guy for 10, and I'm gonna actually draw them out. So uh, right here, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I cashed this guy in and gave me ten. Now do I see 12 in the tens column? No, I don't. In fact, I only see 11. We almost have 12. But here's where we're going to use this cool little one big and two littles technique. We can see that this big can be cashed in for 10. Plus, then I have two others up there that equal 12. So there we go. So here's a 10 that could be cashed in, plus these two makes a 12. Yay! I see another one. This one can be cashed in for 10, plus two more equals a 12. And lastly, this one can be cashed in for 10, plus these two. And it looks like I've I have still remembering I have nothing left in the thousands. I have nothing left in the hundreds. So nothing additional can be cashed in. Uh, and I'm left with just five in the tens column. So it looks like we were successfully able to make three groups of twelves in the tens column. And now we have these five left over. All right, so now we're going to look in the ones column. And do we have enough ones to make a 12? Eh, not exactly, but we could cash in this one for 10 plus these two. That makes a group of 12. Huh? Yay. Woohoo. Now, do I have 12? No. Nope. In fact, the best I have right here is if I cashed this one in, that would give me 11. But that's going to be a start. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to cash him in for an actual 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now do I see 12? Well, I don't exactly see 12. I see 11. But remember, this big plus two littles equals a 12, remember? So, this big could be cashed in for 10, plus these two, there's a 12. Same story here, could be cashed in for a 10, plus two more, there's a 12. And lastly, this guy could be cashed in for 10, plus two more is 12. And it doesn't look like we can make any other groups of 12. So we end up with four groups of 12 in the ones column. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five remainder. So our answer is 230. Oops, I don't want to put the two there. Notice I have my two on top of the hundred. So I'm going to put the two right there. So we end up with 234 remainder uh, five. All right, and there we go. So now let's do one more example. It looks like, I don't know how long we've been going, about eight minutes. I'm gonna go a little faster and uh, we're gonna do one more example. All right, so let's, let's go. And so here we go, 23 dividing into 4,924. I'm going to go pretty fast this time because you can always slow down the video. So let's begin by modeling 4,924. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. Now remember, what does 23 look like? Well, 23 looks like two bigs and three littles. That's what 23 looks like. All right. So anytime I see an instance of two bigs and three littles, that equals 23. So I'm going to begin by looking in the thousands. Do I have 23 in the thousands? Nope. I have four in the thousands. So I don't have any instances of 23 in the thousands place, but I do have some instances of 23 in the hundreds place. 
Where are they? Well, these two bigs plus these three littles equals 23. These two bigs plus these three littles equals 23. So it looks like I was able to create two groups of 23 in the hundreds column. And right now, remember, I'm going to be looking for two bigs and three littles. I have two bigs, but I don't have three littles. So what I'm going to do for the tens column is I'm going to cash in this big for 10 littles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I do have two bigs and three littles. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that in red. So these two bigs plus these three littles equals 23. Do I have any other instances of 23 in the tens column? Nope, because I'm all done with the thousands. I have nothing left in the hundreds, so nothing can be exchanged other than exchanging from the tens into the ones. So it looks like I was only able to make one group of tens. All right, so now let's figure out how many 23s we have in the ones column. And I see immediately in red, these two bigs plus these three littles equals one group. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cash in this guy for 10 littles. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I have a whole new slew of 23s. I've got these two bigs plus these three littles, these two bigs plus these three littles, these two bigs plus these three littles equals 23. So now I'm done. I have no more big, uh, bigs, no more tens that can be cashed into ones. It looks like I'm done with my ones column. So I was able to make four groups of 23 in the ones column, and I have two left over. So my answer for 4,924 divided by 23 is, so oh, let's do it in blue, 214 with a remainder of two. Nice. And that wraps it up. I mean, when, when you think about long division, it's, it's kind of tricky. And the biggest problem is, is our times tables. You know, the kid's trying to estimate, in this case, dividing by 23. What are my 23 times tables and stuff? So, but when we reduce it to the chip model and we start to think that 23 is really an instance of two bigs and three littles, suddenly all we're doing is looking for patterns. We're looking for groupings of 23, two bigs and three littles. So there you go.